Yo, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. Tapping in. Got Vader in the cut, as you guys can see. Chilling right now. Currently on the Candy Apple Red MRR one of the reps. Got the True Stocks over there sitting in the garage on the stack. Just waiting to be put back on, man. Y'all let me know. I've been debating. I'm turning these into my actual like track setup wheel. Just because the stock actual true 1LEs are lighter than the M MR joints. So I've been thinking about taking the tires off of these because the wheels are literally the exact same spec. Taking the tires off of these, throwing them on those, doing possibly like a super fat burnout with those tires. Burning them to their cordless legit. And then throwing those tires on that set of wheels and then some Toyo R triple eight R joints all around on these setups and having this be my track setup. Also, also, as you guys know, the one LE wheels do come in that like gunmetal gray metallic setup finish kind of. I've been thinking about getting them painted gloss black, powder coated, whatever, getting them done gloss black, just so the car will have like a murdered out setup when it's at the track. And it'll look like it's just there for business and business only. And then it'll also have the candy apple red party set up for when, you know what I'm saying, I want to take it out and chill, go to a meet or whatever the case may be. Throw these joints on and be chilling. So with that being said, y'all let me know in the comment section down below what I should do with these. Should I leave them the color that they are or should I go gloss black on them? But anyway, jumping into what today's video is actually about. So, if you guys were at the first J.I. Wings and Cars and you guys would have seen, I revealed that headliner, right? Well, as y'all can tell, only the J, the I, and the BYL are showing right now. The rest of the stars are not working. One of my boxes is actually messed up. So... In today's video, you guys are going to be basically troubleshooting with me, um, trying to figure out which box is messed up. I've already reached out to the seller. We're going to see what we can do. Okay, so, huh. Oh, bro, it came disconnected. Would you look at that? Huh. So the boxes. The boxes have been moving, and as you can see, there's no cord in this one, so all of my lights, that's why the main stars are not doing anything, because they're not plugged in. So, let me turn these off, as a matter of fact. I'm going to turn them off for right now, because I don't want any issues, and I'm going to pull the box out of there real quick and try to see if I can just plug in the lights again and hopefully they work. I'm surprised that they fell out though. That shouldn't be happening. All right, y'all. So this is what I was talking about. As y'all can see, this harness right here is not connected at all. So with that being said, huh? Hold on, y'all. Isn't that just interesting how this harness right here has no tape on it at all and this one this one does that's just interesting to me hold on y'all we finna we, we finna do some searching real quick so just real quick cuz I ain't even gonna cap I'm a little frustrated right now as you guys saw pulled out the two boxes and you can clearly see that one harness to one box is fuller than the other harness to the other box. With that being said, what's good, bro? With that being said, y'all, I feel like, okay, so this is a little bit of a backstory. In total, there's supposed to be 1,100 stars in my roof right now. Um, and when I got to the spot to pick up the car, I noticed that it just looked like there wasn't 1,100 in there. I felt like 1,100 was supposed to be fuller, like there was supposed to be more. Um, so this entire time, I've been like contemplating to myself like did they short my stars like you know what I'm saying did they short me on the stars and I'm like nah man modifix wouldn't do that to me modifix wouldn't do that to me but y'all I'm gonna show this to y'all and I'll let y'all 
do your comments down in the comment section down below. I sent the video over to Jay myself. Um, to see what he's gonna say and I'll probably do like an update video or whatever to let you guys know what's going on um, But just check this out. All right y'all as y'all can see This kit right here is the kit that goes to the stars as y'all can see is disconnected That's why my stars aren't working. We established that already But the issue that we have right now look at this harness It's all taped up and whatnot it doesn't even look like they're not fully seated in there anyway. So it looked like somebody was tampering with it. As you can see, there's a little dent right there. Now look at this harness. There's no tape at all whatsoever, except for just this um, bond that he did right here. So I'm not sure if he took some of the stars out of the stars kit and put them in with the design to get the design to be fuller or what because that's just i don't know i don't know y'all let me know down in the comment section down below because that these kits are the same kit you feel me they're the exact same kit so i would expect all of them to work right like Am I tripping? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. I just expect them to look exactly the same and not have no differences. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, as of right now, the stars are working. This joint is still loose. I'm actually about to go up to my job. Um, I thought I had my little small tool kit for the Phillips screws at the crib, but it's actually in my toolbox. We do have the stars working right now. As y'all can see, they are working. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to go to the shop, grab that tool, tighten down that um that little that screw so that it'll clamp on to the lights like they're supposed to. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in the trunk how they're supposed to be ran. And we'll probably look at changing that setup um here in a little bit just because I want to make sure that it doesn't fall out again. That's hella weird that it just fell out. Um, not even aggressive driving or anything like that. Legit was just on my way back home from Costco and the white just dead ass turned off completely. So we're going to try to get that figured out. Try to, uh, you know, figure out a good way to route the boxes. That way they don't to issues of them coming disconnected and whatnot. Um, as far as getting them to connect to the app, I did get it to connect to the app. Things are a little wonky right now but i think it's just because the stars are loose so hopefully when we tighten them down and get everything put back up everything will be straight i am hosting like a semi cruise tomorrow um just me and a couple of guys gonna go up to galveston try to make up some content um for the ji wings and cars i wasn't able to record that much just because my battery died so um enough of me rambling man let's go ahead head up to the job real quick all right y'all you dig what i'm saying so i just pulled up to my job right now we're gonna see if one of these fits try to tighten these down real quick and then I don't know if y'all can even hear me over Vader so let me turn that off what I'm thinking about doing is getting some magnets sticking them onto here and then sticking them onto the chassis somewhere in there that way they don't move around and I don't got to worry about these things coming loose and falling out, you feel me? So let me go ahead and try to tighten this down and then uh, I'll update you guys after. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and tightened this joint down. It's as tight as it's gonna get, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna go ahead and retuck all the wires back in and try to tuck the boxes to where the antennas are pointed towards the car so my phone will always connect, you know what I'm saying? That way we won't have any issues, man, so. I'm just happy I was able to tighten this down. Hopefully it doesn't fall out again. This Yeah, okay. Alright y'all, so as y'all can see there's one box right there. I just tucked it in between the chassis and this the bracket for the battery and then right there tucked in the back is the second box is back there i tucked it on the other side in one of the little cubbies inside of the chassis so we should be good as far as the box moving 
or anything like that hopefully we don't have any issues i'm gonna just check on it in a couple of days to make sure that it hasn't moved and everything is still secure and also make sure that those lines are intact now i'm gonna go ahead and pause on putting the cover on and everything like that let's go ahead and check and see if the lights are still working All right, y'all, as y'all can see, the JR Galaxy is definitely still going, flourishing and booming right now. So we are definitely back in business. All right, y'all, you do what I'm saying? So as y'all can see, the JI Galaxy is back in full effect. You dig what I'm saying? We definitely got the JI dripping. We got the white stars. Now, the true test is if the app is going to work some blue. Green, hello, stars connected, stars disconnected, stars connected, hello, five minutes later. All right, y'all, so it actually has been a couple of days ever since I shot the last clip, and just to update for you guys, I'm still having the issue with the Bluetooth where it's like going in and out as far as connection goes, um, but the lights still work, they haven't like completely powered out. They haven't come disconnected or anything like that, and the boxes are still in the location where I put them at. So they're holding up pretty well. Um, if they do end up moving, then I will go ahead and go with that idea I was telling you guys about, about adding the magnets to it. That way that they just have no option but to stay where they're at. Um, but yeah, man, as far as like the Bluetooth goes, I already reached out to the company um, that makes the box about getting a new box sent out. Hopefully, they can respond to me within, you know, a couple of days, and that way, um, I'll have an answer as far as like what we're gonna do. Are we gonna get the new box in uh, via warranty or am I gonna have to buy a new box? Also, y'all let me know in the comment section down below, but I've low key been on the fence um, about whether or not I should add another thousand to the kit. So as of right now, as you guys know, we have 1100 stars in the headliner right now and it does brighten up the entire headliner. Yes, it does look like it's flooded. But like I low-key want more. So y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Should I add another kit to it? Um, should I just do 550? Or should I do an entire 1100 again to make it 2200 total? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. But without further ado, that's actually going to be it for this video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Get this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy the JI Galaxy. Stay tuned because I got merch coming. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.